Chapter 18 of the Life of Benjamin Franklin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Greg Giordano. The Life of Benjamin Franklin by Samuel G. Goodrich. Chapter 18 Handsome and Deformed Leg there are two sorts of people in the world who with equal degrees of health and wealth and the other comforts of life become the one happy and the other miserable this arises very much from the different views in which they consider things persons and events and the effect of those different views upon their own minds in whatever situation men can be placed they may find conveniences and inconveniences in whatever company they may find persons in conversation more or less pleasing at whatever table they may meet with meats and drinks of better and worse taste dishes better and worse dressed in whatever climate they will find good and bad weather under whatever government they may find good and bad laws and good and bad administration of those laws in whatever poem or work of genius they may see faults and beauties in almost every face and every person they may discover fine features and defects good and bad qualities under these circumstances the two sorts of people above mentioned fix their attention those who are disposed to be happy on the conveniences of things the pleasant parts of conversation the well-dressed dishes the goodness of the wines the fine weather etc and enjoy all with cheerfulness those who are to be unhappy think and speak only of the contrarieties hence they are continually discontented themselves and by their remarks sour the pleasures of society offend personally many people and make themselves every way disagreeable if this turn of mind was founded in nature such unhappy persons would be the more to be pitied but as a disposition to criticize and to be disgusted is perhaps taken up originally by imitation and is unawares grown into a habit which though at present strong may nevertheless be cured when those who have it are convinced of its bad effect on their felicity i hope this little admonition may be of service to them and put them on changing a habit which though in the exercise it is chiefly an act of imagination yet has serious consequences in life as it brings on real griefs and misfortunes for as many are offended by and nobody loves this sort of people no one shows them more than the most common civility and respect and scarcely that and this frequently puts them out of humour and draws them into disputes and contentions if they aim at obtaining some advantage in rank or fortune nobody wishes them success or will stir a step or speak a word to favour their pretensions if they incur public censure or disgrace no one will defend or excuse and many join to aggravate their misconduct and render them completely odious if these people will not change this bad habit and condescend to be pleased with what is pleasing without fretting themselves or others about the contrarieties it is good for others to avoid an acquaintance with them which is always disagreeable and sometimes very inconvenient especially when one finds oneself entangled in their quarrels an old philosophical friend of mine was grown from experience very cautious in this particular and carefully avoided any intimacy with such people he had like other philosophers a thermometer to show him the heat of the weather and a barometer to mark when it was likely to prove good or bad but there being no instrument invented to discover at first sight this unpleasing disposition in a person he for that purpose made use of his legs one of which was remarkably handsome the other by some accident crooked and deformed if a stranger at first interview regarded his ugly leg more than his handsome one he doubted him if he spoke of it and took no notice of the handsome leg that was sufficient to determine my philosopher to have no further acquaintance with him everybody has not this two-legged instrument but every one with a little attention may observe signs of that carping fault-finding disposition and take the same resolution of avoiding the acquaintance of those infected with it i therefore advise those critical querulous discontented unhappy people if they wish to be respected and beloved by others and happy in themselves they should leave off looking at the ugly leg. End of chapter 18 Recording 
by Greg Giordano. Newport Ritchie, Florida.